Known as the jewels of the rainforest, these tiny, vibrantly colored, and highly poisonous frogs can cause death or serious discomfort to unwary victims. Their gorgeous exterior is not just about aesthetics, their unique appearance helps them ward off potential predators and survive in a rather inhospitable environment. Number 1 is Golden Poison Dart Frog. Our journey begins with the most toxic of all poisonous frogs, and perhaps the most poisonous animal in the world, the Golden Poison Frog. Even its scientific name, Philobates terribilis, shows that small things can be incredibly harmful. The poison it carries is derived from its diet, and depending on location and specific foods, the average wild golden poison frog produces enough poison to kill 10 humans. Despite having this staggeringly powerful self-defense, it is still an endangered species with decreasing population due to habitat loss and pollution. Number 2 is Blue Poison Dart Frog. The blue poison dart frog, Dendrobates tinctorius, is found in southern Suriname and portions of Brazil. Though all the members of this species are a brilliant blue color, the black spots are unique to each individual. These frogs contain enough poison to cause harm or death in humans. Point three, like most other poison frog species, they lose their toxicity in captivity as a result of an altered diet. Blue poison dart frogs are also popular pets. Number 3 is Black-Legged Poison Dart Frog. You may have noticed that this frog, the Black-Legged Poison Dart Frog, Philobates bicolor, looks similar to the Golden Dart Frog. Indeed it is, and both share the distinction of being part of a group of three species of frogs, including the Cocoa Poison Dart Frog, which contain a poison that humans have used to make poison darts. Though it is a little smaller and more slender than the golden dart frog, and its toxin is a little weaker, scientists believe its toxin may be strong enough to cause death in humans. Found in Colombia, the black-legged poison dart frog is considered endangered due to habitat loss. Number 4 is Dying Dart Frog. The dying dart frog, Dendrobates tinctorius, is one of the largest species of poison dart frogs, yet it only grows to be about 2 inches long. It is a species from the genus Dendrobates, which is less toxic than the Philobates genus. Research has shown that the dying dart frog's bright color pattern not only warns nearby predators of its undesirability to eat, but it also offers excellent camouflage from a distance. This colorful frog is found in Brazil, French Guiana, Guyana, and Suriname. Legend suggests that skin secretions from the dying dart frog were at one time used to color the feathers of juvenile parrots. Number 5 is the Phantasmal Poison Frog. The Phantasmal Poison Frog, Epipetobates tricolor, is not only beautiful, but it is also exceptionally tiny. It grows to only about one half inch to one and a half inches in length. But don't let that small stature fool you. The Phantasmal Poison Frog carries enough poison to kill an adult human. Scientists have looked into the possibilities of using epibatidine, a natural alkaloid that is the potent poison of this frog, to develop a non-addictive painkiller more powerful than morphine. While promising, scientists have determined that epibatidine may also be too toxic to humans. Number 6 is the Strawberry Poison Dart Frog. The Strawberry Poison Dart Frog, Oophaga pumilio, is not the most toxic out there, but it is the most toxic of its genus, Oophaga. And you'll want to be wary of this species, because you might not know what you're looking at, at least not at first. This species is usually bright red, but there are somewhere between 15 and 30 different color morphs, ranging from completely red, to a blue coloration, to green with black spots. The striking colors of this species serve as a warning that they are toxic. Like other dart frogs, the strawberry poison dart frog's toxicity is the result of its diet of ants and termites. In captivity, these frogs lose all traces of poison. Number 7 is Lovely Poison Frog. The Lovely Poison Frog, Philobates lugubris, is also known as the Striped Poison Dart Frog. This is one of the least toxic of the Philobates genus, but is still in the most toxic genus of poison frogs. Though it indeed looks lovely, it is still deadly. 
It can hold enough toxins to cause heart failure in predators that try to eat it. Point 12 The lovely poison frog is native to Central America and is found throughout Costa Rica, southeastern Nicaragua, and central Panama. Number 8 is the cocoa poison dart frog. The cocoa poison dart frog, Philobates mauritania, is the third most toxic member of the Philobates genus, just behind the golden poison dart frog and the black-legged poison frog, when encountered in the wild. It is also the tiniest of all three, but what it lacks in size it makes up for in a song. Its mating call has been called loud and bird-like. Instead of males wrestling each other for dominance, they will simply face off and call loudly until one of them backs down. But don't be lured in by their astounding vocals, these frogs store batrachotoxin in glands in their skin, which can be fatal for humans. Number 9 is the Gulf Adulsion Poison Frog. This beautiful species is part of the genus Philobates and is the fourth most toxic member. Its poison causes excruciating pain, mild seizures, and sometimes even paralysis. Scientists are unsure how the Gulf Adulsion poison frog, Philobates vitatus, acquires its toxicity, however, they are certain it comes from an outside source and is not self-manufactured. Found in Costa Rica, the Gulf Adulsion is endangered due to habitat loss. Number 10 is Variable Poison Frog. You can find the beautiful variable poison frog, Ranatomia variabilis, living in the rainforest of Ecuador and Peru. But don't try looking for it, or at least if you do look, don't touch it. Small enough to be called thumbnail frogs, variable poison frogs feed primarily on bromeliad plants. The color of the frog's splashed back can range from lemon yellow to vivid orange to bright red, and sometimes the color takes up the entire back, with little or no black remaining except for the legs and underside.